guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I have a very special guest here with me today. Dan has joined me for a Christmas gift guide for men. So we're doing this a little bit differently. We're splitting the video into two parts. The first part, Dan is going to be talking about his favorite gifts that he's received from previous years. And in the second part, I'm going to be sharing exactly what I got for Dan this Christmas, listing every single thing. Obviously, he's not going to be included in that because everything is a surprise, but hopefully that will give you a good idea I of- good hearing though. <laughs> I really filmed it though. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I put my ear to the door. No. Um, hopefully that's a good way to do it because you get to know exactly what Dan liked and also what I hopefully think he will like this year as well. So I will let you know in January. <laughs> How good I was. So we hope you guys enjoy and we're going to go ahead and get started. So Dan's first choice is whiskey. Uh, Dan is a big whiskey fan. You can't see it, but there is a huge whiskey shelf just off corner and he has a glass with him today. And so the first pick is this one, which I got you in our first year together, actually. I got it for your birthday. This wasn't this Christmas. It was birthday and I spent more than I was going to because I felt guilty about not getting you a Christmas gift and you got me something. You got me the Harrods teddy bear. Bad girl. And I don't think we're exclusive then. So this was a cool little collection. So we have Johnny Walker gift set. And there are, let me get one out for you. So here is an example. So how big are they? So 20 centiliters, 200 mils each are four different types. So you start with black label, which is pretty basic. Red label is actually the entry level, but then you go black label, then green, then gold, then blue. Um, so varying prices if you were to buy the full bottles, but also varying quality. So I'd had the black label loads of times before. It's okay. I tend to have it with Coke rather than straight. But then the gold label, the green label, and the blue label, really, really good. Um, maybe in some cases a little bit overpriced in terms of you could get something better for the same price. But if you're just thinking about here's a glass of whiskey, do you like it? Good whiskeys. So this is what Amy got me last Christmas? Yes. Cool. So this is a limited edition bottle of Blue Label. So as I mentioned earlier, kind of... <sighs> All right, let's not break this on camera or off camera. So it comes in a box inside a box, if that makes sense, without hitting you in the face yeah. with a bottle of whiskey. Um, what does it say on the top? What uh, Our blend cannot be beat. Uh -huh. Modest. <laughs> blend. Um, right, so I love the London skyline. It's always been something that I've really enjoyed. I've always tried to get, you know, live somewhere with a view, that kind of thing. Um, and this, let's see if you can see it, has it a kind of limited thing. edition engraving of the London skyline. So this is bottle number 2095 out of 2500. So that's the reason it isn't actually open because it's limited edition, it's quite cool, I think it might go up in value. And as I mentioned, while Blue Label is a fantastic whiskey, this is a limited edition, so it's kind of a different thing. It's more of a collector's item rather than something to casually drink on a Monday afternoon. So these are really cool, and me and Amy have very different tastes in life, or especially ways of spending money. So Amy, as I'm sure you guys have figured out by now, quite likes to spend a lot of money on big brand things, I've always been more of a brands, often you're overpaying for things. Like you're paying for the brand and the marketing, you're not actually getting any better products. Um, saying that, I do quite like these. Um, so these are my Beats, which you got me a couple of years ago now. Come to I think me. two years ago. Yeah. yeah, so you know. I think they're really comfortable and, I mean they sound really good, but I must admit, I've definitely run out of battery a couple of times and left them on just as like earmuffs while I'm walking home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they keep your ears warm, they feel quite nice. Um, and they are really good. They're Actually, I do a lot of business calls on them, so they pick up the sound really good from when you're you know, speaking to people. And I tend to, I'm one of those people who can't sit still when I'm on the phone. So I'll be taking a business call or something and I'll be doing 20,000 laps of the flat yeah. while I'm here. Um, and I'll just have these on, so. Okay, so next up are a few clothing items. And these are things I tend to get you every year just because they're always popular and they always seem to work, so. Cool, so I enjoy what I would term jamming quite hard. <laughs> so, you know, you're here. These Maybe aren't you're... even ironed either, like these were worn last night. Yeah, you know, I jam on the regular. This isn't something I do once a month, you know, I like to 
be in the flat, in these kind of things. Um, and they're just really comfortable, so why would I not like them? So Dan, I think like a lot of guys, um, fabric is really important to him. So he goes by things, whether they're soft or not. So not necessarily how they look, but how they feel. And Calvin Klein lounge pants are really good for that. So they can be very soft. Sometimes they do quite scratchy kind of fabric ones. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Sorry, I was looking for the, we had lots of glasses out and I wanted long with skin. Um, and so sometimes you can get quite scratchy ones, but they also do a flannel type, which is really soft, which he really likes. So I've gotten him two pairs. You already had a pair, uh, and each year I've tried to get the softest ones I can, but they're always a favourite. Also, I have sizable legs, you know, like yes. Viking style <laughs> legs. So having things that actually fit me, pretty important. Yeah, Dan has really chunky legs, and so the Calvin Klein ones fit quite loosely around there, and they're supposed to be very, very comfortable. So goodbye. So next up we have a jumper and I always try and get Dan a jumper for Christmas and I really do not think that you need to spend a lot on jumpers. Some of Dan's favourite jumpers are really inexpensive and one of his favourites and my favourite to get him um, are H&M sweaters because they're very, very, they fit very well, they're a nice weight, they come in a lot of colours and they're just very kind of safe and they're not too pricey either. So you're, is this H&M? I think yeah. it is. Yeah, this is H&M. This one is H&M as well if you want to hold it up. <laughs> This one's H&M as well, and I think they're about £15, which is just so expensive, and they last quite well as well, so, you know, you do... I think they're really good, so I would say this is probably my go-to jumper anyway. Yeah. It fits me really well, um, and, you know, you can use it for casual things. I think... Did I wear this in the video? I don't remember. So, like, I did a video for an app that I'm trying to oh, start yeah, up, yeah. and this would be my go-to startup casual jumper. <laughs> um, um, in terms of sizes, so this is from the Log brand. I don't think this one is. This is from the normal H&M mainline brand and he gets a large in this one and a medium in this. So I would always say to hold them up because H&M sizing can differ a little bit, but generally speaking, you take a large in most of them, don't you? Yeah, and I'm a large guy. I'm like, what, six foot two, 90 to 95 kilos. Yeah, he's not small. <laughs> um, so size large if you're if the man in your life is around that size, dimensions. Dimensions. Wait, dimensions. In a deep voice, dimensions. <laughs> dimensions. Oh, and I would say that they do these every single year as well. So I bought these for the last three years and they bring them back every year. It's slightly different variations, but essentially the same kind of jumper and the same kind of waffle knit texture. Yeah, I quite like just the thick ones. I always think they're really good quality. Yeah. But cool. So next up, as I'm apparently presenting this now. Yes. Amy's outsourced all of her work. <laughs> I'm just going to sit back. <laughs> um... <laughs> So she usually gets me something that's kind of like cosmetic, but I don't really use that much. I'm pretty low maintenance. <laughs> yeah, like her bathroom, my bathroom, not the same yeah. thing. I have like, you know, shampoo, shower gel, conditioner, done. Um, but I've got some beard oil here. So she got me like a pack of things. So it had like wax that you put in your beard and beard little oil. Little combs and Yeah, a little metal comb. And then you can get really nice kits as well. Like they have kind of manly phrases on them. They're just fun. Yeah, so she got me these last year. Obviously the beard's looking a little bit now. Um, due for a trim on Monday. Um, but yeah, these, these are kind of cool things. So, you know, this keeps you soft and keeps not, you, soft. you know, how to explain it. Basically, I don't want to be a hedgehog. <laughs> it's not the look I was going for. Keeps your beard hair moisturized and conditioned. Yeah, we'll sell it that way. Yeah, okay. You know, L'Oreal, because I'm worth it. <laughs> so finally, we have a pick that I got him last year for his birthday, and this was quite a big gift, um, but it was something I wanted to get him for quite a while because I knew he had his eye on one. Yeah, so this is a Hugo Boss leather jacket, and I will put it on now. Ooh, watch the water. Cool, so this is the jacket. I. I do really like it. Um, I'm quite fussy on these things, so we found what was nearly perfect in an outlet called Cheshire Oaks, and it was fairly similar to this. Um, it was on a good discount as well, but it was black. I don't really like black colored clothing, I never really wear it. I think I'm quite pasty as it is. Not, not the most tanned of people, so I always think that if I wear a black t-shirt, it'll just make me look like a ghost. I do like brown leather though, and Amy found me this, which she bought me a year ago. Yep. Yeah. Well, be a year this January. Cool. So yeah, a year ago. Um, yeah. So I love this. It's really nice. What else do I say about it? <laughs> it was quite a big purchase, but I wanted to get something like this because I try and 
we don't do a lot of gifts for birthdays, so we do a lot of smaller gifts for Christmas, but for birthday I think it's nice to do kind of one bigger thing. And I knew he had his eye on it, and this isn't the kind of thing that he would buy just from the store. And even though it's good to get a discount at outlets, I think often at outlets you get the kind of end of stock stuff, whereas the really good popular leather jackets, especially from Hugo Boss, because it's kind of thing, they always sell out. So I did manage to get it on a bit of discount because Hugo Boss had started their sale, so I decided to nab it. It wasn't a huge discount, but it was enough to kind of just buy it for a bigger gift. And it worked out. I like it. He wears it a lot. <laughs> yeah. And that's it for this part of the video. We're now going to switch to just me talking about the gifts that I got done this year. Hope you enjoyed this part. Any parting words? Hope you enjoy the next part. That means I get awesome stuff. Hopefully. Thanks so much for watching and I'm going to switch to me talking now. Bye guys. So hopefully what you just watched was me and Dan talking about his favourite presents from previous years and now I'm going to be sharing with you exactly what I bought him this year for Christmas so he doesn't know about any of these gift ideas which is why he's not here and he's under strict instruction not to watch this video so hopefully everything will be a complete surprise. I got him a mix of things like I do every year and as a bit of background he's not a particularly hard guy to buy for. He is particular in his taste but obviously I know him quite well now um, but he's not a very fussy or faffy guy so you know he doesn't really like designer labels that much. He likes Hugo Boss and Ralph Lauren, but he would never go near Louis Vuitton or Hermes or anything like that. So he's pretty straightforward. His tastes are pretty simple, really. If you give him food, he's generally happy, and I've definitely done that in previous years, you know, taking him out to restaurants and things like that. Um, this year, I have a few clothing pieces, some food, just a little bit of everything, really. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So first up, I have some stocking stuffer ideas, and I did actually get him some happy socks, which I mentioned in a previous gift guide video. Video. Unfortunately, they still haven't arrived, so I do have to follow them up. Hopefully, they haven't got lost in the mail, but I always get him happy socks now because he loves them, and they're just really fun, really inexpensive, and he gets a lot of use out of them, so I got him some happy socks. I also got him two polar bear themed things because he likes polar bears, and these are kind of jokey ones. This isn't something he'd ever buy himself, but I just think it's fun to do, so I got him this polar bear flash drive from Paper Chase. I just randomly saw this and decided to buy it. I bought it ages ago, actually quite a few months ago but he likes the animal and we're always always short of flash drives in our flat so I thought this would be a good and semi useful gift even if he wouldn't take this to work. And then carrying on the polar bear theme, I also got him this adorable little polar bear chocolate. I actually got him a ton of chocolate for Christmas, so I may have to give some to other people, but I thought this was really adorable and a perfect stocking stuffer. So I got him some more chocolate, and these are both lint. I always get him lint chocolate because it's his favorite, and usually I just get him the white chocolate variety, but I went to the US recently, and they do lots of cool variations which you just don't get in the UK. So I got him the peppermint white chocolate truffles, which looks super yummy. And then and I also got him the milk and white chocolate truffles as well. So I'm excited to have him open these because I think he's going to be really excited to try them. Just something a little bit different from his usual. And then rounding off the food category, I have some Jack Daniels fudge. So I got him the classic variety. And then I also got him the honey variety as well. I've been buying these for him for about three years now. And when I first started, they were quite difficult to find. But now I think they've grown in popularity because I see them everywhere. So I actually got these from Heathrow and there was an offer on, which is why I got two tins but he's such a big fan so I know this is a hit year after year so I'm excited to have him open them. Moving on from food onto drink and I got him a bottle of some of his favourite whiskey so Dan is a really big whiskey fan and this whiskey in particular is one of his favourites. He's not a huge fan of the normal Jack Daniels, he'll drink it but it's not kind of up there but this one he absolutely loves. It's not that easy to find so they used to sell it on the whiskey exchange in the UK and then they discontinued it and they brought it back at a really much higher price and they discontinued it again and so I saw it in the US for a much much cheaper price so I got two bottles of this so I'm really excited because he does have a bottle which I think I gave him last year or the year before but he doesn't want to open it because he thinks that's the only one he's going to have so he just left it there so I'm really excited to give him these because it actually means he's going to be able to drink it and enjoy it as well so I got two of these and if you're if the man in your life or brother or whoever is a whiskey fan then I'd highly recommend Dan drinks every kind of whiskey so which are the big brands um 
there's Blue Label from Johnny Walker, there's, you know, Glenfiddich and Glamorangi and just so many different types, um, but this still remains one of his favourites, so um, it's a really good one. I've never tasted it because I hate whiskey, but apparently it tastes amazing. So on to his two main presents now, and unfortunately one of them hasn't arrived yet, hopefully it will in the next couple of days, but they are a pair of basketball shoes. Dan is a big basketball fan and he plays three times a week and has done for the whole four years I've known him, so it's a really big part of his life, so I decided to get him some new shoes shoes because his ones are looking a little bit worn out and I did a ton of research on basketball shoes so I know an abnormal amount about basketball shoes considering I have no interest in the sport now um, but I settled on the Under Armour Stephen Curry 3 shoes which were just released. They do have other variations obviously 1 and 2 which are already popular but the 3 version is the newest one and they already have really good reviews so I decided to get him a pair of those. I have no idea if they're going to be good but I'm sure he'll let me know and if not we can exchange them but I got him a pair of those and then the second thing I got him was a wallet and I did actually get him a wallet last year and I got it from Selfridges and it looked really nice and it wasn't super expensive but it wasn't you know 10 pounds I think it was 40 or 45 something like that and it has completely fallen apart in a year which I'm really disappointed by and it wasn't really a brand that I knew but even so I would have thought being stocked at Selfridges they would have more quality control but either way I decided to invest in a slightly nicer wallet for him this year so I went for a Hugo Boss one and this is pretty plain and boring um he doesn't really like super flashy stuff if I can oh goodness get it open um but it's just it's very classic I got it from Selfridges and I got him navy blue and it just looks like so and opens up and is a normal men's kind of bifold wallet so really nice very simple and just nice and neutral for the man that doesn't like super flashy things so I really like it and I hope he will too. Then finally I just have a few clothing pieces and I always try and get him new clothes for Christmas because he just doesn't really buy them himself and if he does it sometimes goes wrong so I try and get him them when I can. So I got him this basketball jersey as I mentioned he likes to play basketball and Dan is a big fan of colour so he hates black and he is kind of childlike in his colour preferences so he likes all the primary colours so you know he likes blue and red and just really bright bright colours so I always try and stick to that colour palette for when buying him stuff and I, this was just very simple and just a good workhorse I thought. And then I got him a pair of shorts as well and I always get him a size large in most things. Occasionally in sweaters I might get him a medium, especially on the high street sometimes the sizes can be a bit funny but generally speaking he's a large in most things if that's helpful to anyone. And so I just got him these basketball shorts. I don't particularly like them but they match some basketball shoes that he got so I thought hey go figure. So they weren't too expensive, I just got them at a night store in the US. And then I also got him some pyjamas and I always, always get him, sorry, he calls them lounge pants, they're actually pyjamas, um, but he wears them just for lounging around, which is why he calls them lounge pants. And usually he just gets the Calvin Klein ones and that's what I buy him, um, but they're not the kind of scratchy Calvin Klein ones. So Calvin Klein do lounge pants every single year. They do a kind of thin cotton variety and then they do a soft flannel variety. And Dan is all about the softness of fabric, so when Whenever I'm buying him a t-shirt or a sweater I always have to feel the fabric to see if it's soft enough because if it's not soft enough then he won't wear it. It's a very particular guy thing. I've spoken to a few guys who are all about the fabric as well. Um, but I was going to get him Calvin Klein ones like I usually do and then I saw these and I actually found these from Marshalls um, which I know they don't have one in the UK but we do have the equivalent of is it TJ or TK Maxx? I always forget. Um, but it was just from a discount place. And these are the softest pyjamas you will ever feel. They're from Champ Chaps. I was going to say Champs. Chaps Sleepwear. I've never heard of it, but maybe it's the proper brand. I'm not sure. But they are just, oh my goodness. They remind me of um, Barefoot Dreams from Nordstrom. Just so nice, but in guy form, obviously. And I think he's going to absolutely love these. So this is actually one of the things which I'm most excited about giving him because I think he's going to love it. And it was $13. So super cheap and just so, so soft. And then finally, I got him a sweater. And I didn't know this, but apparently I have a tradition of buying him sweaters every year. And I didn't realize it until last year when I gave him all his gifts and I didn't get him a sweater and he just looks at me and he's like did you not get me a sweater this year and I was just like no I got you a ton of other stuff he's like no it's fine I love it all it's just you always get me a sweater I was like 
I didn't realise this was a tradition I started, so um, heaven forbid I don't get him a sweater. I think it's hilarious how entitled he is with his presents now, but um, I made sure to get him a sweater this year, and usually I get him sweaters from H&M because they are very affordable, they fit really nicely, and they're just very classic non-fussy sweaters, which he loves. Um, but I already got him though some a couple of months ago, so there's no point in getting more. So I decided to go a little bit jazzy, and I got him a Christmas jumper, and he does actually like Christmas jumpers. They're pretty much the only pattern he wears, um, but this is kind of right up his street. He likes navy and blue like a lot of guys, um, so I thought this was really, really fun, so I went for it. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I have no idea how much of this stuff is available online, a lot of it I just picked up as I went along, but I will try and have a look for links and include them where I can, if not I'll try and find alternatives and link those. I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did please do give it a thumbs up, and as always thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!